Welcome back to Geeky Stuff guys. Today I have the Migu M1 smartphone. This is on Gearbest at the moment for £155 and is absolutely cheap when considering the specs. Listen to this. Android 7, 5.5 inch screen, P20 octa-core processor clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, 6 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of ROM. Huge memory, huge storage, 30 megapixel camera on the rear and 8 megapixel, 8 megapixel camera on the front, fingerprint scanner and also type C USB and with a 4000 milliamp battery. All that for £155. So all the specs sound good, let's actually take a look at this. Migu M1. Never heard of this company. There's the phone. Let's put it there. There you see the SIM ejector tool, the SIM tray ejector tool. Pop that in there. Type C USB charging cable. And your USB charging block. Don't think it's fast charging either. Yep. Uh, screen protector, not tempered glass, uh, an instruction manual, and a little bit of lint cloth there. So that's the contents. Ah, that's it. Oh, I've just turned it on in the process. Neat little intro there. Let's take this off. That looks stunning. That looks very much like the OnePlus 3T. Look at the front bottom. I had the OnePlus 3T for a while. Um, that screen looks excellent at first glance. Let's take it down to the bottom then. The USB type C at the bottom with uh, microphone and speaker grills. So on the side, you have your power button and volume up and down. The top, 3.5 mil port for headphones. Uh, side, we have a SIM tray as well. So on the front of the phone, you have your front facing camera, fingerprint sensor at the bottom, haptic feedback. There's a nice bit of vibration there. On the back, dual camera the top there with a the, uh, flashlight as well and the Migu logo at the bottom here we have the antennas as well top and bottom and they're plastic that looks beautiful really really does it's a nice size in the hand it's got a nice rounded back rounded corners as well so it fits perfectly in the hand let's go and set this up very quickly then all right so here is the Home screen, let's have a look at the brightness. So let's turn the brightness down. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. That is lovely. Let's wipe the brightness up. That's quite bright, that is. Got some good viewing angles. Very, very vibrant. Okay, let's have a look. So there is no app draw. No app draw present. There's a little, like a, oh, there's all your Google apps. So YouTube, Gmail, Chrome, camera, Play Store. I've just, I've noticed this little thing. I don't know what that is. Oh, ah, there we go. Look. Oh, so this is like a little a quick menu. Games, music, delete. What's the recycle bin? Oh, free 1.4 gigabytes of memory. That's just a free memory up then. Music. 
Okay, so it's a little shortcut menu there, guys, on there. Um, let's see what else they got. So on this page, file manager, clock, app lock, ETWS, compass. Uh, doesn't seem to be much bloatware. ETWS, I've not heard of that there before. Uh, app lock. Not really seen that on uh, many phones, so. Okay. Great, let's have a look at the. Let's have a look at settings. Have done? Yeah, Android 7, look, guys. Android 7, it's only wireless updates. Or oh, updates. Your device is currently up to date. Okay, so it's Android 7, so that's a cool. Let's quickly check the storage because it's 64 gig. Eyebrow mode, what the hell is that? Okay, storage. 14 gig used of 64. 14 gig already used. That's quite a bit actually. 14 quid, 14 gigabytes, quite a quite a fair amount to be used already. But there we go. Memory, 1.8 gig used of 6 gig. There guys, a 6 gig phone, 155 pound. That is loud. Super loud. Cables running from your ears down into your phone into your pocket. You can be quite free of all that with this. It's really good. So as well as the actual device and earphones, you also get a few other accessories. Cool guys. So the sound quality, um, I've noticed a tiny bit of a distortion when it's up loud. Uh, so maybe the speakers could um, could do with a bit of optimization. Um, could be a little bit better on first look. Anyway, let's just test the fingerprint. Okay, it's accurate. A little slow. Oh, that's all right. That was a little bit slow. That one's slow as well. It seems to be accurate for the time being. Let's take a picture of the uh, Lenovo Fab 2. Autofocus, yeah. Let's start a video. This doesn't seem to be focusing there. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're recording the video. Looks a little bit shaky. I don't think it's got um, any stabilization in there. Okay. Try the front facing camera very quickly. Do, 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 do. Photo. and front-facing camera video and also obviously testing the audio quality let's get into there okay cool go back nice okay guys that is the unboxing and the very quick look at the migu m1 first impressions is absolutely stunning uh, design reminds me very much of the oneplus 3t um, especially the bottom bit here. Sound quality, uh, sound is loud. Sound quality could be a little bit better. It does sound a little bit crackly when you turn it right up. Um, the camera doesn't look too bad. It looks a little bit shaky in the video. So we'll have a good look at that and I'll come back with a full review of this phone. So thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, please comment below. Um, subscribe to my channel. Give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.